Hey mama, hey mama, hey I'm glad to see you here with me I know it gets rough, please don't give up Today we gon' shake off all that weight Put your head up high, crown to the sky Walk in my face and I'm What's up family? Welcome to another video from Elisha's World Um, this is gonna be a really quick word I have to get ready to go back to work Um, but I kept hearing I saw a video by Prophetess Tiffany Montgomery And I only saw a quick snippet Um, I don't even know what the video was talking about But she shared the scripture cry loud and spare not and that scripture has just been ringing in my spirit ringing in my spirit since then so I was like I just kept hearing it and I kept hearing the Lord say you can't afford to be quiet and so the Lord reminded me of a recent situation that I was faced with where I had to call attention to um, some things that had occurred and it was there were very difficult conversations that had to be had um, And if you know me personally or maybe you can resonate with this if you are the person That can tend to have a bigger personality you're animated um, In the past I have had a bad attitude. I've had a nasty mouth um, I'm not that way anymore um, if you are a direct communicator if you are a straight sh shooter and I want to say that by way of saying you know you kind of just cut through the stuff you don't really do a lot of sugar coating you're just like these are the facts this is what I want to need and know this is what happened how can you sponge upon this sometimes that can make people feel uncomfortable because it is often associated with being rude being mean being nasty or whatever but it's all about how you package this so side note want to encourage my outspoken people to keep speaking the lord gave you a mouth he gave you a voice and if your personality is outspoken i believe all good things come from the lord that is a beautiful quality to have don't let anybody shut that down anyway having gone into this conversation i could tell that the other party involved was defensive and initially going in i was not defensive but they were defensive and i mirrored their energy i mirrored what they were saying um and i didn't handle it right um long story short we were able to um have a conversation and we came to a resolve initially i was feeling like i never should have said anything i should just kept my mouth shut i should have just not i should just kept it going i should just been quiet whatever the case may be but i heard what the lord was saying to me it's like you can't afford to be quiet and we are living in times where people who are my generation specifically we are often the ones that unfortunately the people before us listen they've done their work but by the time it gets to our generation we are at the point now where it is on us to break these curses because if not it is going to fall upon our children this situation in particular was a situation where i felt the need to advocate for one of my children um again if you know me personally i have not always advocated for my children in the healthiest way which could lead to one being maybe defensive because they're like oh we know how e coming fair enough but i'm not that person anymore and so I will also say by not having these conversations, people just don't know. In Isaiah 58, um, Isaiah chapter 58, um, I'm going to give you the quick synopsis. You know, they are saying the Lord is like, okay, from the outside looking in, they look like they're my people. They really look like they for me. They look like they abide in the law of, of God and they're doing all that they're supposed to. They look like... Yet they complain. They're like, oh, we fasting, but you ain't see me, God. Oh, God, I blessed this person, but you ain't blessed me back. Oh, God, I did this, but you didn't see me. And so the Lord is saying, cry loud and spare not. Tell them what they're doing and tell them how to fix it. Because he also gives instruction later on in that chapter of like, listen, once you do this, I will bless you. Once you honor the Sabbath, I'll bless you. Once you give with basically a free heart, I'm paraphrasing, I will bless you. He gives instruction. So what I see in this scripture is that one, the Holy Spirit, God is, he loves us so much that he'll never let us continue down a negative path. And if we truly love one another, we should be able to correct one another, but it should be done in love. 
And this scripture, it just really resonated with me because it starts with like, cry loud and spare not. Tell them, tell my people, tell them what they're doing wrong. Tell them what my issue is. And the Holy Spirit was very clear about this is the problem. But also, this is how you fix it. And I wanted to do this video to encourage you to, one, don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to say something. There are a lot of generational issues and things in our families that we are quiet about because we don't want to be that one. We don't want to be the one that everybody, oh, here they go. But if God is calling you, if that thing that you're noticing on your bloodline is what you got to go disrupt that. Because if you don't, it's going to go down to your children and their children and their children. It's so much bigger than us, y'all. It is so much bigger than us. And it is time out of being so concerned about what people would think about. What is God saying? We worried about what people might say. And I just, I left it at that point. And I let that family member know, I love you. I have always loved you. I still love you. I don't like how this happened, but that does not stop my love from you. It doesn't. And, you know, we came up with a resolve and it was beautiful. But now I also, their expectation is, is that they know and understand that, you know, okay, Elisha had an issue with this. This is how she had an issue and this is how she felt, but how can we make it right moving forward and i let them know this is what i need this is why i felt this way this is how it impacted this person and that person moving forward should we come to this juncture again can we do a b and c and i, I just wanted to encourage everyone listening to this is that you know if you are the squeaky wheel in your family if you are the whistleblower as god leads you to heavy on it if god leads you to because some people we all, some, some of us got that family member, some of us been that family member. We always got something to say. And it's not always to bring glory to God. So check your heart, check your posture. Make sure you're moving right. But don't be afraid to speak out. Don't let the enemy muzzle you. Don't let the enemy muzzle you. And that's not to say that things won't be said. That is not to say that people won't misunderstand you. They misunderstood Jesus. Jesus came here, letting people know that he was the Messiah and the Son of God, and they killed that man. So don't go into this thinking that, oh, I just want to be understood. You got to be uncomfortable being misunderstood. Just check your heart. Make sure that your heart posture is right before God, and you will not, you will not fail if you're walking with God. Cry loud and spare not. Okay?